Let me describe an interesting scenario. John wanted to sell a cab for 50 bucks with no profit or loss. A buyer came with 100 bucks to buy that cab. Since John didn't have change, he went to his neighbor Jennifer with those 100 bucks and took the change. John came back, gave 50 bucks to the buyer and kept the remaining 50 with him. Buyer took the cab and 50 bucks and went away. After some time, Jennifer came and said, John, the note is a fake one and I want my 100 bucks back. John somehow arranged that money and gave it to Jennifer. But now, the question is, how much loss did John face? You may just pause this video and calculate his loss. How much did you get? Well, if we go to see, John gave 100 bucks to Jennifer. The cab worth 50 which he sold, plus the 50 bucks which the buyer took away. So for John, it's a loss of overall 200, right? Uh, no, there is some mistake. After selling the cab, John was left with 50 bucks. And he had to arrange only 50 more to give it to Jennifer. So in total, it's a loss of 150 only, right? Or are we still going wrong somewhere? Are you all puzzled? Some might be thinking it's a loss of 150 and some would say it's 200. But what if I say it's a loss of 100 only? Let me justify. John just had a cap worth 50 bucks and nothing else. When he sold the cap, he was left with 50 bucks in his pocket instead of that cap. When his neighbor Jennifer asked for the real note, John had to arrange only for 50 bucks as he already had 50 from the cap which he sold. So actually, he lost his cap worth 50 bucks and 50 which he arranged. Let's cross check this answer. In simple lines, one's total loss must be equal to another's total profit. Here, buyer is making an illicit profit of 100 bucks. That must be equal to the total loss of John. Agreed? Friends, this puzzle needs more of concentration and the ability to think logically. Don't allow yourself to get carried away. We hope you like this session. Please watch our other sessions on mathematics and statistics on our website www.letstute.com. Let's meet in the next session with more interesting puzzles. Till then, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.